Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. I did a video earlier in the summer on the snail. I'm sure the packaging is gonna look similar to this, the blue and white, MTB Prime and MTB Prime X. I had a viewer that wanted the indoor numbers. So I thought, why not go out, play a few holes with the Prime and then get the numbers A little bit towards the right side. Ball felt nice and solid. Let's get it. We're this far out. I don't need to worry about the pin. I'm 211 from the center of the green. Water down the left side. Actually, you can see the willow up there. The water is left of that willow. 194 to the front. We are going to hit a five wood as much as we have in the bag today. I don't know if I could hit it any better than that, and I kind of doubt it got to the green. Kind of funny why that five wood is even in the bag, guys. I was kind of planning on <laughs> doing a video that included a five wood. So I put the five wood in the bag, took the three wood out, and I was gonna do that video today. So I don't have a three wood. So let's say under normal conditions, that five wood would have carried about 185. See how far we have to the front. We've got 22, 172, and I think this is the ball mark right here. So 13 yards less carry, and then another 10 yards less roll. short there and it's kind of on a little ridge there this ball should move a little bit left this didn't quite catch that pitch shot oh tough hole though there's water left. There's a willow up there on the left. I think that's kind of where the water is. And then there's a bunker right. But both the water and the bunker start at 2.30. I did at one point get an email from the company. I guess they had a batch of balls, had some cover issues. And I think they offered people refunds or offered to send, send them new balls out. So that was pretty good. Okay, there's a big tower out there that's kind of a little right center of the fairway. Makes a good target. Okay, we are we're to that point where I can't see the ball anymore. Do you guys use your GPS to help you find your ball when you can't see it? So I know when I get about 310 out, if I didn't see the ball yet, to start looking looking left and right but here it is right in the middle of the fairway very very cool hole here guys we got the bunkers up there those are the bunkers that were about 235 out i'm sitting at 322 from the middle there's a ball mark so we're not getting any roll here water all down the left side we've got the two big bunkers here to have a story and then this water to carry to get to the green here there's a mound on the left too so now I'm going to see how far that mound on the left is. That's 160. So over that mound is probably where we have some water. So we need to stay right side of that. And between that and between over this bunker. 322. Let's go high wood. Okay. The right side of that mound should be okay. I remember playing in the club championship out here. Now we're going back 15 years probably. I was playing with a guy who was playing really well. He was probably two or three under at this point. He hits his drive in this bunker. It's got 230 to the pin and it's all over water. You've got a tier. You'll see this green has a couple tiers to it. He gets in this bunker, and I'm thinking he's going to just, you know, hit some kind of short iron, lay it up short of the water. And he's got this iron, and it's got 
not a lot of loft on it. So I'm like, what's he, is he actually going for it? And he takes it and he hits just the purest high draw, drew right on that pin, probably 15 feet from the hole from here. Like it was one of the greatest shots I've ever seen in competition. He still wants to get revenge on me because we played the scramble and he plays with three other guys. They're all plus handicaps. Qualify for national championships and U.S. Mid-Ams. And two years in a row, we played in this event, scramble, and we were paired together and beat him two years in a row. Each year, we had to shoot like 15 under par in the four-person scramble to beat him by one shot. All right, 150, wind's hurting a little bit. We're going to go six hybrid. This is a hard shot with a six hybrid. I can't believe he hit five or six iron or whatever he hit from that bunker from 230. That's way on the right side of that green. Way, way right. I mean, this is one of those courses to where if you're a good, like, long lag putter, you can score really well because you can hit a lot of greens if you've got control of your distance. This green is, I don't know how wide this green is. It's amazing. Now, on the flip side, if you're not a good lag putter, you can have lots of problems. This green goes back uphill here. There's a ridge here. Should move to the left. You got to really hit it to get it up this slope, too. Well, still didn't get it up the ridge. Got to make a par with this ball, hopefully. This hole has water all down both sides. It's about 240 to the bunker on the left, 383 to the middle of the green from here. Got to hit driver and... We don't want to risk this being the, I'm imagining the first ball that I've ever tested <laughs> and reviewed and not made a par. Those last two holes really are not, not the easiest holes in the world either, that's for sure. A little more room left and right. We're going to go at the right edge of that left bunker. Okay, hit it at the left edge of the left bunker didn't hit it great so we may have a long way in 201 to that pin it's like the pins towards the back of the green it's only about 180 to the front we're going to go ahead and hit that five wood again little left From 50 yards, the snail launched a little higher than the Pro V1. Spin, pretty much the same. Descent, one degree steeper, and peak height the same. With the seven iron, the snail had one mile per hour less ball speed than the Pro V1. Launch, spin, very similar. Descent, peak height, these numbers were really close. One yard less carry, two yards less on the total. With the four hybrid, the snail had one mile per hour less ball speed, about a degree higher launch, 400 RPM less spin, descent peak height the same, carry the same, rolled out two more yards due to less spin. With the driver, the snail had one mile per hour more ball speed, launch about a degree lower, spin within about 100 RPM, descent about the same, and the carry two yards more and two more yards on the total. I've got updates on the super speed. I've got a putting update and the results of the poll. You guys want a video on ideas to work on your game throughout the winter. So I'll make that video and that'll be coming real soon. I'm visiting sub 70. If you guys have videos you wanna see, drop those down in the comment section. 
We'll have another live in about a week. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out.